Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to get lower input delay in Fortnite Season 8. So yeah guys, first I am going to show you the best settings for low delay in Fortnite. First guys, uh, make sure that you are on performance mode rendering mode. And yeah guys, we can start with the window mode, make sure that it's on full screen. I'm using native resolution 1080p, my FPS is kept at 180 because uh, to stop the FPS drop. Uh, this is my colorblind, if you want you can copy it, it's so good colorblind for competitive and something like that, so yeah guys, you can try it, it's so good. And here is the graphics quality settings for performance mode. 3D resolution I'm using on 100 to get a uh, good view in competitive but if you want more FPS you can make it lower or I recommend you to use on 100 view distance you can make on epic or 4 you can use on epic or 4 this is not giving you delay in Fortnite and uh, this is not giving you less uh, FPS and yeah guys you can you can use it on epic it's so good for competitive texture se texture settings never use on epic because uh, this is giving you so much input delay in Fortnite and you're getting less FPS in Fortnite so yeah guys this will fix your flickering textures and rendering in Fortnite Battle Royale so guys make sure that texture settings is on low uh, now, uh, now we're going with the measure settings I highly recommend you to use on low because of the delay this will reduce your input delay in Fortnite so yeah guys uh, make sure that measure setting is on low because uh, you will get more FPS and less input delay. Vsense, make sure that it's off because if it's on, uh, this will give you so much input delay. So yeah guys, don't use Vsense. And yeah guys, that's with the settings. Now guys, I'm going to show you the best game user settings to get lower input delay in Fortnite so yeah guys okay guys to find the game user settings you need to you need to open run and guys in run type percent local update percent when you type that click ok here guys search for Fortnite game folder open it Click saved, config, go to windows client and here is the game user settings. Before you do anything with game user settings make sure that in properties read only option is disabled. Disable the read only option, click apply, ok now guys I'm going to open game user settings. As you can see guys there's my game user settings now what's important here um, here is important first these two settings copy these two settings make it make on false motion blur and show grass on false this will reduce your input delay next we have uh, these two settings three four these six settings copy these settings guys uh, this will help you for less delay and more fps and of course guys copy the ray tracing settings this this is so good for less delay so yeah guys copy these settings next uh, we have this is all unnecessary here what's important here uh, you don't need to copy these settings 
now I will show you what's important this setting here is important you can copy it make it on false now next is ok guys here is the resolution I'm using I'm using native resolution but if you want uh, more FPS and less delay you can create a custom resolution like 40, 20, 1080 this resolution is so good for less input delay and more FPS now you, are, you can click save and the resolution will be applied now I'm going to revert to native resolution because I don't need that resolution I'm not playing on it and yeah guys uh, this setting copy the settings use vSans make on false and yeah guys this uh, this setting make on false too audio quality level set to zero this will help you with the delay and yeah you can copy it next we have okay this is unnecessary next setting we have these settings these two settings it's so important because uh, if it's on true if it's enabled this will take from your internet and will give you more ping and more input delay so yeah guys copy the settings uh, stability group settings make sure that is like mine this will help you with the delay resolution quality 100 view distance quality uh, 3 anti-aliasing quality 0 and all others to 0 uh, chat settings is not important next setting is mesh quality make sure guys that mesh quality setting is 0 so yeah guys and these three last settings false true false so yeah guys copy these three last settings and yeah guys that was my game user settings now click save and now I can close it so yeah guys thanks for watching this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe I hope you enjoyed the video so let me uh, let me know down in the comments and yeah guys I hope this video helps see you in the next video bye